Good Sunday afternoon to you from Stone Mountain, Georgia, home of the Georgia Kangaroos. This is Steve Olivas, Dr. Steve, the doctor of basketballogy. Basketballology? I'm not sure exactly what I'm trying to say, but I will be bringing you all the action today. The Music City Kings travel down to the Atlanta area to take on the Kangaroos after... The Kangaroos embarrassed the Kings on their home floor a couple of weeks ago with a double-digit victory. The Kings today bring in a ringer. We finally have a big man under the basket. Number 54, 6 foot 10 inch, 225 pound Dominic Obunaka joins the team. Dominic will be posting up against big number 25, Rondi Hackett for the Ruse. I have the Kangaroos roster in front of me. I'll try to work in their names to the broadcast also. If you're joining me live, the game is starting a little bit late today. There were some vehicular problems on the four and a half hour trip. That's a little bit exaggerated. On the long trip from Nashville to Atlanta, the tip is won by the Kangaroos, almost goes out of bounds. It is slapped back in by Isaiah Thomas, picked off now by George Stanberry. Stanberry gets it down to Michael Neal, who puts it up an air ball, but Zach Zorfleet grabs the rebound, puts it up. The board's grabbed again. Isaiah out to Stanberry. Stanberry nails the three. <laughs> Given what happened last time these two teams played, maybe Music City should just take their ball and go home. Call it a victory, 3-0. Actually, it says 3-1 on the scoreboard. That can't be right. Georgia launches one. Kenny Carter puts one up. Kenny Comer? Kana? Oof. I can't read my writing. Sorry, Kenny. Put one up a little bit long, but Georgia will inbound the ball. Brings it into Hackett. Hackett posting up. Taking a look. Check there, man. Not a whole lot Stanberry could do against the much bigger man, but he held his ground still. Georgia grabs two and goes down by one. Stanberry rims it off to the right and out of bounds. Georgia will take it over. Inbounding from the rear hash mark, I almost said, from the rear baseline. Bringing it up slowly come the Kangaroos. Kangaroos much taller. Then Nashville, Music City, my mistake. Not sure what the call was there. Don't know if they called Stanberry for something. I can't hear. We're not down by the table, so I can't hear what the refs are saying. That comes into Hackett. Hackett takes a look, finds some room. Nice shooter's touch, but off the rim. Looks like they're going to call... Zorfleet for the foul. Zorfleet pushed off under the basket. And we have the first team foul on the Kings. Well, looks like the foul occurred in the act of shooting, not in the act of rebounding. So the Kangaroos going to the line to shoot two. 10.45 remaining. Music City up three to two. If you've just joined us, we are just underway. Corey Reed on the line for Georgia misses the first one. Ball is live if he misses this one. Zorfleet and Isaiah Thomas getting ready to box out. The ball is up. That one goes in. Zorfleet will be inbounding. Zorfleet gets it in to Michael Neal. Neal was the leading scorer against Georgia a couple of weeks ago, looking to regain that touch. Last week, the man with the ball was the leading scorer. Booker from way downtown. Booker rips the cords. Wow, what a shot. Three points for Booker. Music City takes the lead. Good little touch underneath from Brandon Martin as he pulls the ruse within one. It's six to five in favor of Music City. Michael Neal bringing the ball down. He and Stanberry playing high. Isaiah at the top of the key. Zorfleet and Booker right to left spread out wide. Now they go into their offense. Neal brings it to the line. That one gets slapped away from him. He takes the long jumper. That one, oh, man. Jumper was an air ball. Stanberry grabbed it but had it pulled out of his hands, and the ruse in transition come near side. That gets launched a little bit long. Rims out. Who are they going to call that one on? 
Looks like 21. That goes on Michael Booker. He hammered the arm, says the ref. Corey Reed will inbound the ball for Georgia. Into Omar Simpkins, back to Reed. Reed up way high. Simpkins over everybody. They're going to call number 21. That's another foul on Booker. Booker with two quick fouls under the basket as Music City trying to box the much bigger Georgia Kangaroos out from under the basket. And we're having the same problem we had in Nashville. Simpkins is such a tall man. He's going right over the top of the Music City defenders. Grabbing those offensive boards, fortunately, he misses the first free throw. Still 6-5 in favor of Music City, 9.38 remaining in the first quarter. Simpkins to shoot a second. Music City will be boxing out. Men who match up better with them under the basket. That one goes off the front of the rim and Simpkins gets his own rebound. Georgia working it around. Over to Hackett, Hackett back to Tommy Jones. Jones playing the point up high, guarded by Neal. He comes in. Neal thought he had nothing but ball, but Neal is going to get called for the foul. That's four fast ones on Music City. Four team fouls for the Kings now. Quick hands tried to slap the ball away. Looks like he got a little bit of arm with it. And here comes Georgia. Inbound to Rondi Hackett. Hackett getting checked by Stanberry. Stanberry, oh, I thought Stanberry might have gotten a piece of that one, but Hackett drained the three. Georgia takes an 8-6 to six lead. We're winding down to nine minutes to play. Stanberry brings the ball wide. Got a pick. Wasn't a lot. Stanberry makes the most of it, though, and he nails a deuce. Stanberry with five for the afternoon. Pulls Music City to win an even, eight to eight. Michael Neal, good, solid defense for Neal. Jones tried to take him wide. Neal was all over him. Here come the Kings on the counter punch. Neal is hacked and he puts it down. Three point play coming up for Michael Neal. Neal wasn't hacked per se, but one of the kangaroos was falling behind him and landed on the back of his calves as he was going up for that shot. He drained the basket, and he's going to try to complete the three-point play. In comes Marcus Carter for Isaiah Thomas. Carter going to stand up high with Stanberry. They're guarding Corey Reed. He's cherry-picking a bit back under the Georgia basket. Neal can't hit the back end of the three-point play. Hackett with the rebound, and here come the Kangaroos. Hackett crosses the center stripe. Got a little bit of a... Ooh, Hackett off the front of the rim. Got a little bit of a pick there from Simpkins. Rims that one. Zorfleet, long three. He had plenty of time to size it up. Can't hit it. Here come the Ruse in transition. Bounce pass up to Reed. It was a good one. Reed had that one come off his hands. Long cross-court pass to Brandon Martin, and he nails a three. Georgia goes up one, 11-10. Much closer game today. The Kings are hitting their shots. Let's see if they can continue. Neal, wide. Looked like he hopped a little bit. Got it to Zorfleet at the top of the key. Nothing but net for Zach Zorfleet. Zachariah Ezekiel Zorfleet. <laughs> Funny thing, I'll tell you a funny Zach Zorfleet story as soon as we get a break in the action. That one comes in to Hackett, Hackett. Three-second violation is, well, wait a minute. What was the call there? Both of us thought they said three-second violation, but maybe not. The three-second violation would have been on the offense. Well, technical foul was called. Hackett hits it, so... Georgia pulls within one. It's 13-12 in favor of Music City. Seven and a half minutes to play. Georgia will inbound the ball. Brandon Morris taking a look around. Still got Reed. Still got Hackett on the floor. Still got Simpkins. Hackett guarded out high. Nice defense. Allen Rodgers is in off the bench for Music City. Golly. I'll tell you what, Hackett brought that one all the way into the lane, did a nice turnaround jumper and knocked it down. We have a tie score under the basket. Might have been too far underneath. Are you kidding me? There we go. <laughs> 
Omar Simpkins was all over the back <laughs> of the Music City Kings player as he went up for that rebound. Late whistle on the part of the referee. I think the ref might have been waiting to see if that shot dropped. It did not, but Michael Lott will go to the line and shooting two. Michael Lott also in off the bench. Some fresh legs for the Kings. Lott, ah, oh, didn't get the bounce on that one. Bounced up and just out. You can almost see the scoreboard in the sh camera frame there. 7.13 to go, 13 to 13. The Kings keeping this one close. Lott puts up the second shot. That one, he gets the bounce. Michael Lott with his first point of the game, and the Kings take a one-point lead, 14-13. Kenny, I'm sorry, yeah, no, Tommy Jones bringing the ball up. Couldn't tell if that was a two or a three. Jones unleashes a three, can't hit it. Here comes Rodgers on the transition to Zorfleet. Zorfleet takes a look. He was guarded pretty closely by Hackett. Now shot, Stanberry can't hit the three. Rebound Simpkins, that one came right to him, nestled in his lap. Hackett gets hacked a little bit, running into the lane. Let's see who they call this one on. That is on two. Allen Rogers with his first foul of the game. Looked a little bit like Hackett was out of control coming down the lane, and yet blocking was the call, not the charge. Hackett to the line to shoot two. 6.39 remaining. We've still got a tie score. This time it's at 14-14. Rondi Hackett drains the first one. Substitution for the Kings. In comes Ladarius Palmer replacing George Stanberry. Palmer takes his place at the side of the lane. Hackett to shoot the second. It's up and down. Hackett, nice job at the line. Drains both. Georgia takes the two-point lead, 16-14. Allen Rogers guides the team up the floor. Crosses half court, takes a look. Palmer with his first touch of the afternoon. Checked very closely by Tommy Jones. Spins around to Zorfleet. Zorfleet getting checked. Pump fake, got a little room. He was hacked, going up, and he'll complete the three. Zach Zorfleet got fouled on the way up. Wow, what a nice follow through by Zach. Zorfley with five on the day. Trying to hit his sixth point of the afternoon, which will put the Kings up by one. 16-16, much better, much better what? Much better score, much better game than the first time these two teams played a couple of weeks ago. Zach up, down. Zorfleet completes the three. He's leading the Kings scoring with six. And the ruse up the floor. Zorfleet on defense. Checking him close. Hackett's got it. Checked closely by Rodgers. Travel. Rodgers did what he needed to do. Nice job by Allen Rodgers. Caused that travel. Like uh, Hackett dragged his foot. Marcus Carter in his first touch of the afternoon, I believe. Carter to Palmer. Wide open three. Ah, Ladarius can't hit it. Fast hands by Marcus Carter, though. Carter smacks that ball and can't control it when it comes out of the Ruse hand. Out of bounds, nice effort by Marcus Carter, but Kangaroos keep possession. Inbounding the ball, Tommy Jones. Brings that ball up the floor as far as he can before touching it. The clock starts, Music City up by one, 17-16. Back out to Jones. Jones into the lane. Too much traffic. Kicks it out. Ruse now back to the lane. Marcus Carter on defense. Makes him change the shot. Carter with the rebound. Nice job by Marcus Carter. Here comes Zorfleet. Zorfleet back to Palmer. Palmer up to, who is that? Is that Rodgers? I think that's Rodgers. Tried to hit Mike a lot with a cross-court pass. Can't do it. Turnover Music City. Kangaroos take possession. They'll be inbounding the ball from their own side of the court, from the sideline this time, not from the the, uh, the baseline. <laughs> I couldn't come up with that word for a second time. Tommy Jones, playing point, brings it up to Rondi Hackett. Hackett, turn around. Oh, my gosh, what a nice shot. Hackett's a big man but has an incredible touch. That ball just nestled into the bucket. Palmer wasn't expecting that pass from Rodgers. He's able to control it back to Zorfleet. Way down to Zorfleet again! Zach Zorfleet with his reign of terror. Nine points for Zorfleet. 
Georgia slowing things down, taking their time. Want to make sure to do it right. Rogers up high to check Jones. Jones, beautiful, into the basket. Couldn't complete, though. Rebound, Ladarius Palmer out to Zorfleet. Zorfleet thought about it, said, uh uh, over to Allen Rogers. Rogers up high. Music City mixing it up under the basket. Zorfleet near side, still outside the arch. Gets it to Palmer. Palmer takes a look. No can do. Carter to Rogers. Rogers to the baseline. Good defense by the Kangaroos. Nothing there for Rogers. Shot clock expires. I don't think Zach was able to hit the rim, so that is a turnover. We're in a different league today. This is the OBN, I'm sorry, the USBN. I'm getting my leagues mixed up, and there is a 24-second shot clock in this league. You could hear the Music City Kings counting down for their teammates, letting them know there was three, then two, then one, adding a little urgency for the shot. Rondi Hackett checked by Marcus Carter. Put it off of Jones's hands. Boy, look at those offensive rebounds for Georgia. Number 33, Corey Reed all over those offensive boards. Music City can't jump and smack it away. Palmer, big three, can't drain it. Rebound came right into the hands of Brandon Martin, and here comes Georgia on the counterpunch. Way up high, Corey Reed can't connect on the bucket. Ladarius Palmer, here we go in transition. Counterpunch, Kings. Palmer waits for his teammates to join him. Zach's got it. We're going to slow it down. Rodgers sends it over to Mike a lot. Lot pump fake. Got a little space. Puts it up. And, oh, they're calling him for the charge. Charges the call on Michael Lott. Lott with his first foul of the game. 324 remaining. If you're keeping track at home, we've got a tie ball game. 2020. It's been exciting. Up and down so far. Both teams. Hitting their shots, Georgia, as predicted, getting the lion's share of the rebounds. But Music City doing a scrappy job. Keeping their defense tight, rushing some of the shots for the Kangaroos. And on the miss, Music City trying to box out as well as they can. Obunaka hasn't seen action yet, so Music City still has an ace up their sleeve. We do have some height on the bench. Xavier Ferguson also hasn't seen action this afternoon. He's got a little bit of height. Ferguson, I believe, is 6'7". I can check that quick, but it would require me to look at my phone, and there would be a long dead spot here. Ferguson comes off the bench out of the timeout. So Ferguson, I believe, will position himself at center. We've got Alan Rogers, Michael Neal, George Stanberry, and Ladarius Palmer rounding out the Music City Kings. Georgia with Kenny Carter. No, I'm sorry. Tommy Jones. <laughs> I keep getting the two and the three mixed up. Tommy Jones bringing up the ball into Rondi Hackett. Hackett guarded by... Oh, Rogers Hackett put it right up and over him. Rebound Xavier. Ferguson doing what he's in there to do. Michael Neal drives to the baseline, puts it up. That's picked off by their big man, Omar Simpkins. All the way down to Brandon Martin. Martin guarded by, who are they calling that on? Looked like Alan Rogers did that cleanly. Nope, Rogers getting called for the foul. That's two on Alan. Looked like Rogers had position on him, but once you're in the air, there's not a lot you can do. You'll always get called for that contact. Brandon Martin trying to break the tie. He does. 21-20 in favor of Georgia. Martin will get another shot. Lucky 13, Brandon Martin. Palmer and Ferguson looking to rebound. Nothing to rebound. Nothing but net for Brandon Martin. Up the floor comes Stanberry. Pass from Rogers. Stanberry over to Palmer. Very top of the key. Palmer to the free throw line. Puts it up. Oh, Ladarius can't hit it. Like somebody pushed off. I guess it was one of the Kings. That one I didn't see who got the foul. It's tough when we're not down by the scores table as uh, the referees with their hands usually put up the number of the fouler. That one I didn't see. So we'll just call that a phantom foul. 
Palmer slapped that one out of the hands of Rondi Hackett, but Allen Rogers wasn't expecting it, couldn't grab the ball as it bounced past him and out of bounds. Tommy Jones inbounding from under his own basket. Music City assembles their defense. Over to Rondi Hackett. Hackett driving in. He traveled again. That's two traveling violations by Hackett. Two turnovers as Music City takes over. Down by a bucket. Allen Rogers inbounding to Ladarius. Palmer's got it. Here come the Kings. 2.38, now 2.37 to go in quarter number one. Allen Rogers holding up one finger to send the offense into motion. Michael Neal runs the pick. Rogers out to Palmer. Palm, Palmer guarded, gets it back to Neal. Neal lost his dribble, but is able to smack it over to Stanberry, who put it up and rimmed it out. Georgia can't grab the rebound. A lot of flailing, and they come away with it. Stanberry gets charged. They've got to call that the charge, right? Yeah, they do. Stanberry took one for the team. Stanberry puts a hand on his head to call a 30-second timeout. He might have taken that one in the nards. Stanberry a little bit bent over as he goes past the bench and into the locker room. Stanberry might have to put children on hold for a couple of months while that one recovers, but he does get... Oh, wait, Stanberry's still on the floor. That wasn't Stanberry at all. That had to have been Rodgers who took that charge. I just saw the two. Sorry about that. Allen Rodgers into the locker room. Stanberry with the ball up high. Michael Neal looked like he got held, and he did. Foul on number 13, Brandon Martin of the Kangaroos. Martin saying, wait a minute, I had position. I got the ball. Stanberry will inbound. Neal steps back to take the inbound pass. From right in front of the Kangaroos bench, here comes Stanberry. Palmer frees himself up, far side, outside the key. He's checked by Brandon Martin. He's in trouble, gets it out to Neal. Nice job. Neal cross court to Zach Zorfleet. George Stanberry slaps it away from Zach. He didn't want Zach to shoot because he wanted the two points. Stanberry drives the lane and gets another deuce. Zorfleet still has him by a couple points. That's seven for Stanberry. Zorfleet with nine. The hot hand today. Here comes Tommy Jones. Tries the three, can't do it. Michael Neal, big defensive rebound. Neal was all over the defensive boards in Louisville last week, and he picks up where he left off. Stanberry can't hit the three. Rebound Hackett. Hackett out to Jones. Jones to Martin. Martin mishandled it for one second, got it back into Jones, drives the lane. Palmer whacked that one out of his hands. 35, the call is on Xavier Ferguson. Looks like Ferguson got his arm. That's the first personal foul for Xavier. Tommy Jones to the line to shoot two. Tie game, 116 remaining in quarter number one, 22-22, and now 23-22 in favor of Georgia. Tommy Jones hits his first free throw. Jones sizes it up. And we're underway. That one a little bit short, caught the rim, got the bounce. Georgia by a deuce. Stanberry up to Palmer. Palmer takes a look. He drives into the lane. Ferguson called for another foul as he was banging under the basket. Two quick ones on Xavier. Music City. Let's see, we are, I believe, if I'm reading the scoreboard correctly, George is in the bonus. Jones up, he's fouled by 35, Ferguson with his third foul. Wow, Ferguson in three trips has committed three fouls. That'll send... I think it's Tommy Jones to the line. It is number two, Tommy Jones to shoot two. We are just under a minute to play. Jones hits the first one and Georgia takes their biggest lead of the afternoon. They match their biggest lead. They were up eight to five. Now they're up 25-22. Three point lead, Jones has the capability to make it four. It's up and down. Music City, they've had their chances. Music City has to hit their shots. They're getting good looks at the basket. 
Stanberry has some room, and you don't want to give him too much time. Unfortunately, he came up short. Big rebound by Simpkins. Up to Martin. Martin can't hit. That one gets volleyballed around by several of the Kangaroos. Music City just can't get to those loose balls with the length that Georgia has. Georgia, some tall men with some long arms. They're able to knock the ball around and pick up the loose ones. Music City comes down. They're getting one shot per trip. Tommy Jones tried a little hot dog on that one. Ends up missing the slam dunk, and that's fortunate for the Kings. Stanberry. Oh, he wanted to take that shot, but it looks like Music City is playing for the last shot of the quarter. We're down to eight seconds remaining. Five seconds. Stanberry into the lane, gets blocked out. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. Isaiah Thomas inadvertently created some defensive pressure against Stanberry as he ran into the back of Isaiah and missed that shot. So we go to... The first quarter break, Music City has missed, boy, probably five or six shots in a row here and find themselves down by seven. Quick Zach Zorfleet story for you. Zach chased me down after the last game, and he said, you know, when they handed you the roster, they screwed up my last name. It's actually Norfleet. And I said, oh, no, I will make that correction immediately. And he said, no, 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 I like the name Zorfleet possibly because he is fixing to grow a Fu Manchu and get a lair in like a dormant volcano. Hire a few henchmen, build a death ray or a death star, and potentially take over the world. So you'll know if the letter Z is stricken from the English language so that Zach Zorfleet is the only one who's able to sport the letter, he will have achieved his goal of world domination. For now, the kings looking to dominate under the basket because they have been dominated so far. They hung in for a while. It was 22-22 at one point, and Georgia has reeled off seven unanswered points. Music City has had a few shots, but having a hard time with more than one shot per trip down the floor as Georgia is all over their defensive boards. Georgia's had a little bit of ball luck, too, as they've had a couple of fortunate bounces, tips and smacks that have either gone out of bounds and favored them or landed in the hands of a teammate. Music City looking to balance those scales here in the second quarter. 12 minutes of basketball before halftime. As per usual, I will shut down the feed at halftime and we'll have a second installment for the second half. Into Stanberry, Stanberry to Isaiah, who turns and hits the swish. Isaiah Thomas is on the board. Those are his first two points of the afternoon. Nice shot by Thomas, nothing but net. Up comes Tommy Jones. Jones just inside the arch. He had a foot down inside, so sent it out to Martin. Martin into Corey Reed. Reed drains it. Trading deuces, and here comes Allen Rogers. Rogers. Hits Isaiah, is he still hot? Yes, he is, that was only two points. Isaiah's feet were on the line, but that's okay. He drained it nonetheless. Five point lead for the Ruse. Music City back within five, 31-26. Sorfleet getting rewarded for his hot hand by more minutes on the hardwood. This one comes out to Simpkins. They'll give him that shot all day. That's the guy you don't want taking the shot. Looks like there's a foul on Isaiah Thomas as Corey Reed was going up for that rebound. Isaiah shoved him. Music City trying to push off, gain whatever advantage they can on the defensive boards. As George is just out jumping them. Tommy Jones inbounds to Hackett. Gives it back to Jones. Jones is checked by Stanberry, top of the key. Rogers got picked off. Zorfleet picks up. Tom, uh, Jones, Jones into Simpkins. He was all by himself. Slam dunk, two points, kangaroos. Sorefleet gets it over to Rogers. Rogers thought about it for a second, got it to Stanberry. Stanberry's always thinking about it. Now over to Obunaka, who his first touch of the afternoon is a travel. Turnover, Music City. Big Dominic Obunaka in the game, number 54. 
He shuffled his feet after he got that ball, trying to position his shoulders toward the hoop, and in doing so, traveled. Here comes Tommy Jones. Jones in, puts it up over Obunaka, and Obunaka gets out, jumped by Corey Reed. Nice offensive rebound by Reed. Reed tipped it up and in, and Georgia is up by nine. Rogers took a hop. He got stuck with the ball. Thought he'd take the three. That's not in his range, but here comes Georgia. Cross pass to Hackett. Hackett, Hackett drains it for a big man. Rondi Hackett has an amazing touch. Georgia with their biggest lead, now double digits in the game. 38-26, Music City, before you know it, finds themselves down 12. And this game is shaping up like the last game in Nashville did. Music City hung in there a little longer than the first game, but they've got to have an answer under the basket. The Kangaroos with a lot of height and a lot of ups. Man, Corey Reed. I don't have his height in front of me, but he went right up over the reach of Dominic Obunaka, who's 6'10". With his arms extended, he's about 9 feet. Corey Reed just put that one back up and in. And I'll tell you what, Music City trying to keep as tight of a D as they can on Rondi Hackett because he can shoot from anywhere on the floor and he's a big body under the basket. Music City breaks their huddle. Ubunaka comes back onto the floor. Zorfleet, Rogers, Stanberry, and uh, Xavier? Maybe Michael Lott? Nope, it's a, uh, not Xavier. My apologies. It is Isaiah Thomas. Rogers to Thomas. Thomas takes a look, sends it over to Stanberry. Stanberry looking for Zorfleet. Zorfleet can't get free. Stanberry picked up his dribble. Got to get rid of the ball into Obunaka. Obunaka, pump fake to the left, back out to Stanberry. Pump fake on Rondi, and Hackett hacked him. Let's get him in foul trouble if we can. Rondi Hackett with a foul. Music City will be inbounding the ball from just in front of the Georgia Kangaroo bench. You see Georgia's coach, Brian, in the Kangaroo hoodie, standing behind his players. Into Allen Rodgers. Rodgers looking around. Obunaka comes out to throw the pick and does. Rodgers kicks it out to Isaiah. Isaiah with a three and drains it. Isaiah with a rainbow. Nice touch by Thomas. Thomas with seven on the afternoon. Music City pulls to within 10. That sounds like it's still a lot, but they needed a bucket there. Are you kidding? Rodgers all over Hackett. Hackett doesn't even see him. Puts that one down for three. We are behind by 13 now. Georgia starting to hit their shots as they're heating up. Obunaka for three. That's well short, but rebounded by Rodgers off the rim. Isaiah went up with Corey Reed, and it went off of Reed. Fortunate bounce there as Music City maintains possession. Allen Rodgers will inbound the ball under the Music City basket. Hits Stanberry. Stanberry for three. Off the back of the rim. Nice rebound by Cameron Carter for uh, the Kangaroos. Into Corey Reed. Reed throws it away. Stanberry is the beneficiary of that errant pass. Stanberry going to make him pay for it and does. Three points for George Stanberry. Stanberry, the first king in double digits. He's got 10 and he passes Zach Zorfleet. Zachariah Ezekiah or Ezekiel. I can't remember what I said the first time. Over to Cameron Carter. Carter has Obunaka all over him. Kicks it out. Pretty sure that's Jones, and it is. Jones with a long three. Puts Georgia back up by 13. Georgia's shooting percentage has shot way up since the beginning of the game. They were cold at first, but they've heated up. Stanberry misses that three, and it's the same formula. Bring it down one shot. Here comes Georgia. Music City has to hit them if they're only going to get one chance. Hackett that time didn't have a good touch. Stanberry takes advantage of the fact that Hackett stood in frustration, didn't get his feet moving. So Stanberry ran right through where Hackett should have been and put that layup through the hoop. Nice job by George. 
44-33, seven and a half minutes remaining. Another three, Brandon Martin for the Ruse. Holy cow. Georgia just keeps coming. 14 point lead as Georgia continues to extend. Zorfleet from the parking lot, puts it off the front of the rim and that bounces into the hands of the Kangaroos. Bring it down, one shot, here comes Georgia. Same formula, Rogers picks up that loose ball into Isaiah, Isaiah to the hole and in. Made sure that that one shot was a good one. Thomas with nine on the afternoon. Georgia walking the ball up slow. We're under seven minutes to play in the first half. Out to Corey Reed. Reed baseline all the way in. He got hacked and he missed. Man, that almost went in. Fairly certain that'd be Obunaka on the foul. And it is number 54, says the referee. Dominic's first foul of the game. Reed to shoot two. 6.43 remains, 47.35 in favor of the Kangaroos. Music City's down double digits and has been for the entirety of the second half, or the second quarter, my mistake. Corey Reed with the miss. We've got big changes coming up. Marcus Carter checks in. KB, Kenneth Beard checks in, as does Michael Lott. Stanberry stays on the floor with Zach. Reed misses that one. Rebound, Stanberry. Stanberry to the top of the key, makes a move and stops. Still on the dribble. Goes left, goes right, throws the ball away. Interception by who else? Rondi Hackett. Hackett is everywhere. Tommy Jones wanted to slow it down, brings it all the way in. He's checked hard by Stanberry, still makes the move, kisses the glass, and puts it down. Another deuce for Corey Reed. Georgia back to a 14 point lead. KB with the ball up high. Kenneth Beard, I finally got his full name. Wanted to go by KB. Zach Zorfleet continues his hot hand as Zach puts down another deuce. He's got 11 on the afternoon. Zorfleet pulls the Kings within 12. They've got some ground to make up. Got to make Georgia start to miss. That's one way to do it. Rebound Michael Lott. Tommy Jones with that long three. The ball spun out of the basket that time. KB brings it up the floor. Crosses half court. Everyone assembling. Stanberry gets open far side. KB on a give and go. Faked him out. Oh, Zach missed. Again, one shot and Georgia coming back. Almost no offensive rebounds. I say that a little bit hyperbolically, but Music City having a lot of trouble under that offensive board. On the offensive boards? On the offensive boards. Nice little nifty move by Brandon Martin. He's trying to get around KB, can't do it. Beard with a good defense. Corey Reed brings it in and buries it though. Guess what, we're down 14 again. 51-37, Music City either buries it or runs back on defense. Georgia so strong on those defensive boards. They're hard to beat down there. So Music City, shot selection is critical. Stanberry, just as I say that, takes an off balance shot. Georgia with the off uh, defensive rebound. Martin over to Jones. Jones looking around, tries to throw it up over KB. That one goes off the back of the rim. Marcus Carter with the defensive rebound. KB bringing it up hot. KB gets that one smacked back into his face by Tommy Jones. Jones hits Reed, who had nobody on him but couldn't handle it. The pass, still able to, oh man. Somehow Music City lost a point in that deal. Oh, the ball got kicked out. And instead of Reed hitting the slam, he kicked it out to Brandon Martin who buried the three. Oh man. Music City can't win for losing here. Reed had trouble with that pass. Zorfleet was doing all he could to disrupt the flow and he did, except Reed was able to knock it out to Martin who put down the three. And Music City finds themselves down 17. Now Georgia can't lose for winning. Man, even when things bounce not their way, they end up going their way. Bad ball luck for the Kings. 
but they can't let that get them down. King's got to come back strong. We've driven a long way to play this game. Georgia ran off a bunch of points in a row. Music City is certainly capable of doing that. They've got some good shooters on that squad. They break out of the huddle. Michael Neal joins his teammates as he replaces Zach on the floor. Marcus Carter's out there with Michael Lott, Ladarius Palmer, and KB. KB to Neal, back to KB. Here comes Beard bringing it up the floor. Gets to the top of the key, swings it around to Carter. Carter to Palmer. Palmer taking a look, leaves it for Michael Neal. Neal gets a pick by Lott, takes a couple steps back to get in rhythm. King's got the offensive rebound. KB puts it up but misses. Georgia gets that rebound and is immediately fouled by Michael Neal. Neal with his second foul of the game. Music City got an offensive rebound. Team owner Big Tony Johnson's son joins us in the broadcast booth here. Mr. Austin has a friend with him, it seems, as they are enjoying all that Atlanta has to offer. Stone Mountain, Georgia, home of Jerry Blackwell for all of you AWA wrestling fans. In the meantime, Rondi Hackett slam dunks the ball and took Michael Neal with him. Neal almost got put through the basket on that one. Quick pass out to Marcus Carter. Music City down 19, and the Kangaroos are getting vocal. They've only got six players. No, I'm sorry, seven. There are two on the bench, five on the floor, and that's all they've got. Michael Neal puts that one off of Rondi's foot, so kicking is the call, and... Music City will retain possession. Wasn't really a kick, but the ball went off Hackett's foot. So what are you going to do? Carter inbounding it. Woo, KB had to do a little dance to keep that one from going over the half-court line. Ladarius with three off the back of the rim. Rebound, Georgia. Here comes Jones. Georgia taking their time again, making sure to get set up. Georgia, a very athletic team as well as a tall team. They've got... The total package, and they're hard to beat. Neal, a little bit out of control. That ball was slapped a couple times. Sent in to Mike a lot, who missed. He was a little too far under the basket. Got his own rebound, but that was blocked by several of the Kangaroos. Here they come on the counter punch. Brandon Martin to Rondi Hackett. Another slam dunk for Hackett. Hackett, he is hacking it to bits today. Good night. Hackett is on fire. KB puts the, ah, that one didn't even hit the rim as it bounces harmlessly out of bounds. And Music City finds themselves down 21, 58-37, 216 remaining in the first half. And Coach E. Money, Eric Bell, going to have a few things to talk to his team about. Tommy Jones over Ladarius Palmer, off the back of the rim, Palmer with the board. Palmer sent it out to KB. KB, little touch. He was fouled on the way up by Brandon Martin, so KB will go to the line and shoot two. Kenneth Beard shooting two. Trying to get this lead under 20 for the Kangaroos. It's Music City attempting to claw their way back from the biggest deficit I have seen since I've been with the Kings. Georgia, very solid team. First shot, in and out for KB. Boy, that one almost went, but didn't. Michael Booker comes back into the game. He checks in to replace Marcus Carter. Michael Neal has a few words with Coach Bell and comes back clapping. Neal trying to get some energy into the legs of his team. KB with his second shot. That one came up short. KB missed both free throws, still a 21-point lead for Georgia. Into Jones, over to Reed. Reed gets hacked. Wow, Reed got blocked clean. Somehow, Cameron Carter ended up with the ball, and he put it in. The Kings, even when they're doing things right, the ball bounces into the hands of Georgia. That one was just all kinds of, all kinds of ugly. Georgia ended up slapping the ball. Cameron Carter did slap the ball out of the hands of KB, so Music City will have possession. Still find themselves down 23. Ugh. The score is ugly. Music City trying to do a few things, so Coach Eric Bell has some words of encouragement to build upon in the locker room. We're down to about a minute and a half remaining. Stanberry buries a three. Nice shot by George. 
Stanberry with 15 on the afternoon. He leads the Music City scoring. Rondi Hackett checked by two of the Kings. Might take three of us to stop that guy. Holy cow, Brandon Martin. That was almost a half-court three-point shot and hit nothing but net. Stanberry tries to answer with his own long three. Georgia with the defensive rebound. That's Corey Reed. He gets it over to Tommy Jones. Jones runs over Stanberry, and that'll be a charge. Stanberry took that one for the team. Tommy Jones with the personal foul. Music City will be inbounding the ball from just in front, just next to Coach Eric Bell. Palmer into Rogers. Rogers over to Michael Booker. Booker puts up a rainbow short. Ball bounced. It's another example of some bad luck for the Kings. The ball went off the rim and then bounced over the top of the backboard. How often do you see that happen? 23-point lead for the Kangaroos. I'm going to stop saying the score because it's not the score so much as the spirit of the game. Rondi Hackett. Ooh, I thought you could book that one. Offensive rebound for Georgia. Carter can't put that one in. Defensive board for the Kings. Here comes Rodgers. Rodgers over to Booker. Booker missed the layup. All the way down the floor, Georgia doesn't miss the layup. 25-point lead, 65-40. Georgia continues to pour it on. This game was 22-22 at one point. Ladarius Palmer, the layup went over the top of the rim. Georgia with the defensive rebound and then threw the ball away. Nice job being in the right place at the right time for Stanberry. He puts up another tray. Stanberry, a mid-stall of the Georgia scoring, is having a nice game for himself. 18 points for George Stanberry. We got five seconds left. Georgia will get the last shot of the game. Brandon Martin puts that one up, and it's shocking to me, but somehow he missed. I figured an off-balance shot where he's not even looking at the rim from almost half court was bound to go in, just given the luck Georgia's had today, but to no avail. Well, we're going to shut down the broadcast. We're going to have an eight-minute intermission, and then if you're watching us live, I'll return on the backside to run down the scoring. But for now, we go to the locker room, 65-43 to 43 in favor of Georgia. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Grab something to eat, and we'll come back to you in about eight.